And we're going to remind you in these times to be using melanin leaf. Okay? I'm going to drop the name of that in the video below. I want you to be using that if you're going to smoke anything. Like I said, use it in your tea, whatever. Stay hydrated. Get in the habit of drinking water, even if you don't like it. It's a good habit to um, employ and invest in. So you want to think in images. You want to think in pictures. Remember that. You want to think in pictures. When you think of something, you want to think of it as a picture. Every thought is a picture of a concept, okay? For something to be material, it had to be a concept. It had to be a thought, okay? A thought, a model made of plastic fine substance, not on this dimension, but on another dimension. And the actual picture forms itself in accordance with the fine substance out of coarse matter. So the images fuses itself with the fine, thin substance on another dimension. Thinking entirely is a sequence of pictures which together result in what? That's right, action. Cause and effect. So whatever a person thinking, <clears throat> whatever a person is thinking, he is setting forth the will of motion. And what's that will of motion? Cause and effect. And most time he cannot stop his will. Um, if he's thinking evil, this will will move and attract to him the evil that he's thinking about. If evil has been accepted by the world of effects, thought will return. Okay? They might not turn return to you right away. But they will return because thoughts are what? Thoughts are things. So that's why you have to control your thoughts and what you're thinking about. And try to think more on positive terms. Um, some will say, you know, think on the bright side. You'll find yourself doing that. Because it's extra um, to, to you not being in harmony with your body is just causing some extra harm to you. Like thinking negative is just, you know, that's not normal. It's extra. That's something you added on. Um, so in the excitement or tension that is connected to the desire endeavors to influence, um, Endeavors to influence you to satisfy causing a discharge by outward action. So any excitement, you know, any arousal, like, you know, tension, touching it, you know, teasing it, that is connected to desire. Remember, we talked about desire, how if I hold you in the water, you, you will want to breathe, right? You would desire air. Any excitement or tension that is connected to the desire, endeavors to influence you, to satisfy you, causing a discharge. You know, a discharge can be, um, you know, semen from males. Causing a discharge because it's coming from inside. It's coming out. It's, ugh. It's coming here. It's, it's coming which brings me to your strongest motor in your human machine is your sexual pole. Your lower chakra. The creative process.
prime flame is located in the two lights. And the lights are sexual energy. And it has its seat in the the cosmos. And it's a very active source of our most desires. Like an animal. Between two bowls. Between two poles. It's lively, significant to exchange the energy of its own thinking. The more productive, the lower the pole is. The more it links energy with the outside, and the less energy is delivered to the function of thinking and vice versa. The more radically the outflow of sexual energy, so that's, um, you know, the more arousal, the more, you know, the more that you are about to climax, but you don't. Um, the more outflow of sexual energy to the outside is denied, the greater the benefit of the power of thinking. So you deny yourself by semen retention, not nothing. You deny yourself the urge of sex, which is in everybody. You you deny yourself when you're when you're having sex or you're getting pleased. You deny yourself the nut. And the more that you do this, the stronger your thinking abilities will be. That's a fact. Like I said, your strongest spears are your your, your lowest chakra to your highest chakra, which is when you become enlightened. The willpower is here in the middle. When you become enlightened, that, oh, man, I got to get something. It's just the same primal flame of desire and the thinking. And the more denial, the higher the thinking ability. And the opposite. When you give in, the lesser you'll be able to think. Hope you like this video. Drop a comment below. Hit like. Let's get these likes up. Yeah.